Where where'd you grow up? Southern Colorado. Really? Yep. Okay. Nice. Um I guess this is kind of a big question, I'm sure everyone asks it, but why did you choose St. John's? What was the draw for you to want to come here and, and be a coach here? Well, I was coaching at Carroll College in Helena, Montana, mm -hmm. my first job out of college, and coached all sports in those days, football, basketball, baseball, and uh, that was the only sports they had, but, and we were very successful in all the sports. Of course, I was single, it makes a lot of difference, you know, when you're single. Yeah. And uh, I was 22 years old to 26 when St. John's asked me if we were very successful there. They asked me if I would you know, come and look at the school. I really was very happy at Carroll. I didn't think I was even interested. But uh, I came and looked after the basketball season. They invited me. I figured, well, what else have I got to do? So I came and looked. I didn't really want, but two things happened. Number one, it was a lot. It was a bigger school, bigger challenge, and doubled my salary. <laughs> so as, as much as I hated to leave, I figured, well, what have I got to lose? If it doesn't work out, uh, I'll just go. You know, I'll, so what? I don't know. When you're single and carefree, you try a lot of things. So I came here, and uh, a lot of things. It was a lot. Of, it's a great place, but nothing wrong with Carroll College. It was a great place too. Yeah. And this is just bigger, and and uh, I don't know. I just it was a change of scenery, and and I and I liked it. I guess that's it. I had a lot of opportunities to leave, but each time. Of course, one thing, I met a nice looking chick here uh, from St. Cloud Hospital. She's a student nurse there. And of course, that put some roots in the ground. And uh, I just grew to like it here. And they moved me here to, on campus here. I don't know if you ever, I don't know what they call that house out there. It was right on campus there. The Glardy House? Yeah, they call it Glardy House. Yeah, <laughs> they call it the Glardy uh, House. It was a nice place to grow. I have your kids. and. And uh, they loved it here, and I loved it here. And I don't know. Years went by. I spent 60 years here. It's a long time. Hard to believe, but, but it went by. I met a lot of great people, and I watched people like his dad and so many great guys that played here and went here and uh, went on to be have terrific careers in, in every area that you can think of. Uh, whether it's religion, you know, archbishops and bishops and priests and politicians. He even got a guy now, right now, uh, Denny uh, McDonald, who is the right hand man for our president, and all kinds of people, great business people, all kinds of guys. Right? It's been a pleasure to meet the kind of people that I've had the pleasure of having being here because of my position here. I've been exposed to a lot of St. John's attracts a lot of great people, and uh, we just uh, it just I've been just lucky to be part of it. You fell in love with it. Pardon? You fell in love with it. I'm sorry. Oh, so you fell in love with the campus? Yeah. And I fell in love with this chick back here. <laughs> <laughs> See, it helps a lot, you know. Yeah. And I had four great kids, all went to school here. Two played for me here, and two girls in the same bands. So, I, like I said, I've had a lot of great days in, this, in the sun. And now I'm in the shade, <laughs> waiting for darkness to fall. <laughs> so. Um, so I guess now, um, kind of switching gears a little bit, um, I know that Johnny Tommy, from what I heard, well, at least I guess from what I've heard, it wasn't may not have been as competitive back then. But um, I guess for big games, you know, uh, big rivalry games, I guess, how would you prepare? Um, would you prepare the team differently for per se Johnny Tommy or I think or any big game like that compared to 
potentially other games? No, really. Every game was a big game because uh, you know, like the coaching staff right now have got a big challenge. They had one last week, but they got a big one this week because after a big win or a big loss, the next opponent is, is critical because you can lose sight of what you you got to do. Because the last game, whether it was a big win or a big loss or anything, is gone. And you've got to concentrate and prepare fully for the next team, especially if they're not a very good team, because you can get tripped up very easily. It happens on every level, high school, college, or pro, that teams get upset. And a lot of times it's because they're still thinking about the past game. And that's a big challenge. And even when things are going good, we've had long winning streaks, and even then, you've always got that next game to prepare for it. You got to prepare for it really hard because any team can beat you. It happens everywhere on every level. It happened to me plenty of times, but fortunately, thank God we enough won enough to hang in there. Yeah. The key to everything and the key to any success I might add is to have great players, great people that make you look like you know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, that's you saw cool. this book that I wrote, didn't you? About, I think it tells you everything I know about football. Oh, you grab all that? I, yeah. I had four books written about me, but I finally decided to, decided to write my own. Okay. All that I know about football. Skim through there, see what you think. Okay. Skim, let this guy see it. All I know about football. You wrote this one? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that is a good read. Oops. That's all right. That's just empty. <laughs> that That's the crazy. one we use for my class. That is great. <laughs> I want to be in that class. <laughs> you know, a lot of good chicks. Yeah, yeah. A lot of good bet. looking chicks in it. <laughs> what do you think? It's a pretty quick read. Well, it's well written. <laughs> yeah. Well written. That has nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, it's a great time for your four years here. Yeah. Just enjoy it. And uh, we were talking about that earlier. He's, his son is about to enter the real world, you know, but college life is. Uh, I just asked the guy, former player, who was here just a minute ago, asked him what he, what he learned here at St. John's while he was here, what helped him do his job now. He's got a big job. Just left, and what did you think? What do you remember him saying? Well, he said uh, he was talking about uh, how the Johnny Network and his work ethic and just the culture of St. John's prepared him for his future. Culture was the number one thing. Yeah. Working with good people, honest people, yeah. and the culture. And he got his job because of Johnny Network. And Johnny referred him to Network, and yeah, caught him up with it. Yeah. So that, that that's the important thing. It's, yeah. I'm not so sure you learn anything here, except the good <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah. and that's important. And and it's, I think you got we warehouse young guys, hold them off till they enter the real world. In the meantime, you got to make friends and and uh, make a lot of contacts and mm -hmm. stay stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, be be good to people. Be the same. What got you here? I'm sure you all. I do all the right things to be here. Mm -hmm. Just got to keep doing it, and it'll all work out. It works out. We all had to get through that first step. Yep. You don't know how many lucky breaks I had in my life to get to this point. I can bore you with another two, three hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say luck is when opportunity meets, or preparation meets opportunity. It's exactly yeah, right. Something like that. Yeah. It's exactly right. <laughs> um, so, how much does, nowadays, how much does the Johnny Tommy game mean to the two universities? And I guess, yeah, I guess we'll start out with that. Does it, mean, how does, it mean, does it mean what? How much does, like, the Johnny Tommy game mean to the two universities? 
Well, I think it means a lot because uh, I think like all of you, everybody here and there seem to have looked at either school. Did each of you look at St. Thomas? Oh, yeah. And I'm sure a lot of them looked at St. John's. So they'll, they'll, that's quite a thing, I think, that right there. And uh, so you know a lot of people there, and they know a lot of people here. And it's not the same as Gustavus or Concordia. You, it's not exactly the same. So I don't know if there's very many relationships like this, but wherever they are, it's almost like a family fight, I think. Mm -hmm. Very much so. It's, you know, so frankly, there were, before St. Thomas has had this resurgence, there were a lot of teams that they were just another team in the league. Uh, teams like Gustavus, that, well, now they've had their dip. Concordia, they've up and down. Every team seems to have an up and a down. And Bethel's not coming up after up and down the door, man. But you probably don't know, even know anybody at Bethel. No. You know, and, and they don't, so you know, that's that's something like that, I think, has a lot to do with it, I think. I don't know, there are two great schools, a lot of other good schools, like you say, they're all good schools, but you don't know the connections, and I think that makes a big difference. And uh, I don't know, we had a, such a big margin of, vic of wins over them for a long time that I think it was very frustrating to them, it had to be an event to us. I wouldn't have lasted that long if I always tell a joke about some of my jokes are actually true <laughs> and uh, and the ones that aren't true could be true and this one could be true but not I always tell about after we won a national championship first national championship the president of the college of Father Coleman at a big rally said finished his talk about praising me he said John we love you. He was an Irishman, got all fired up. So I was great to hear that. So I met him about a week later in the hallway, and I said, boy, Father Coleman, that was really great to hear that you really love me and all that. I said, well, if we start losing to St. Thomas, would you still love me? John, if you start losing to St. Thomas, we'll, we'll love you, we'll still love you, but we're going to miss you a lot, too. <laughs> That's kind of the way it is, really. I think there's no way that I could have lasted without beating St. Thomas. He wouldn't have put up with me. <laughs> um, I went through about, I'll bet, seven different St. Thomas coaches in my career. So, you know, they, if they couldn't whip us, they'd try somebody else. Mm. So that's, that's coaching. Yeah, I just think it's so cool. There's like so much passion behind a game that's like Division Three. You know, people just come and draw to it. And Listen, I've got to tell you something. As my year, my years get older, I nod and pretend I hear a lot. Oh I didn't yeah. Hear a damn thing you said. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying that there's a lot of cool. It's cool how there's a lot of passion and like energy behind such oh, yeah. like a, a like a Division Three versus like. A Division One football game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, what do you think the driving power is that makes D three football so you know passionate? I mean, well, it's pretty well, incredible. Like you know, I had some chances to go to other schools in other divisions, but what I like about Division three is these are bona fide students. They're students, just like you guys. They have to get through in school. They get no 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 financial aid. To you know, on the big time level, or even in, even in some areas, of, in, not D3 doesn't allow it, but it wasn't always the case. That's only been the last maybe, I forget about maybe 30 years. Before that, there were no rules. When I first got to St. John's, everybody could do whatever they wanted. We didn't have it. Matter of fact, I think one of the reasons I got the job, other than the fact that I probably work for less, less money, I don't know. I was, I had a good record. Anyway, they asked me if we needed scholarships. I said, no, I don't think so. I've never been on one myself, and we didn't have them at Carroll College. So I said, I don't think we, we don't need them. We're winning at St. 